good morning uh, dear learners today again uh, i'm going to discuss about uh, the important uh, skill of uh, language as you all know that uh, we are under the process of understanding the concept of uh, speaking skill in the previous classes uh, in one class we have discussed about uh, the meaning as well as some of the available definitions for understanding the concept of uh, speaking ability and even we have discussed about the importance uh, of speaking skill now uh, next to what we have discussed is about uh, different uh, dimensions as far as uh, ability of speaking is considered like uh, sub uh, skills of speaking okay and after that uh, we have discussed about uh, what is pronunciation articulation stress rhythm and intonation now in the today's class i am going to discuss about uh, the techniques the techniques which are helpful for uh, every one of us as to improve the ability of speaking uh, maybe individually or it may be for our learners so let us try to have a, a glance over uh, some of the techniques which are available as per the development of speaking skill are considered so these are the techniques which are used by every english teacher for the benefit or for the improvement of uh, students performance or students competencies as far their ability of speaking is considered so let us try to have a look on the techniques of uh, uh, improving or the ways or approaches also they, they uh, are to be called as for improvement of ability of speaking the first and the very basic uh, technique or a te uh, approach or a way that a teacher of english should have to follow in the classroom is the conversation conversation definitely uh, students as you know uh, somewhat uh, it is heart of uh, all the other skills which were used in ability of speaking if not if not uh, we definitely one or another way it can be used by some other people so how do we need to uh, use the ability of uh, conversation in the classroom that is the main element that we need to discuss but before that uh, to uh, have a clear idea or uh, to have a comprehensive information about uh, the techniques which are supposed to be used for the ability of speaking is considered is the conversation so conversation is nothing but uh, having communication okay the teacher who used to converse or the one who used to have communication in the classroom definitely he will be remembered forever by the students in their lifetime forever so for uh, having conversation in the classroom the teacher may use different perspectives or uh, different uh, techniques too i can say uh, which are part and partial of presentation of the speaking ability there were no uh, certain criteria for the development of conversation skill in the classroom teacher may have his own or her own styles of conversation individually group wise okay by giving an activity so it depends upon how teacher motivates how teacher drives the attention how teacher create a desire for learning okay so whenever a language is to be taught first of all the basic thing that the teacher of a language need to understand is development of that language like the mother tongue then the teacher used to have such kind of feelings yes even this is not a, uh, a language which is very difficult it can be learned it can be understood it can be used by the teacher from the perspective of conversation so we all started using the mother tongue not by going to any type of classes institutions or school but still we can speak kannada or any native language that we are speaking right now by listening by proper understanding by a proper comprehension by proper type of conversation styles or techniques okay but as far as this matter is considered the conversation of english so when a teacher motivates in the classroom and he sets or she she sets a role model in the classroom as to initiate as to develop the conversational styles in the classroom definitely that is going to create a lot many wonders as far as the development of ability of speaking is considered 
as i said there are different uh, criteria there are different techniques there are different approaches that can be followed by an individual teacher as to motivate as to constantly motivate the learner towards uh, ability of speaking so some of them may individually cope up with the problems or the issues that the teacher students used to have some of them may be uh, divided the whole class into different dimensions based on the efficiency is considered so whatever form of uh, uh, conversation style the teacher is using it depends upon uh, ability of the teacher as well as the efficiency of the learners so any type of conversation can be conversation can be carried out in the classroom that is one of the beautiful one of the simplest one of the finest activity or a style or an approach you can say or it is a one of the technique uh, which is helpful for the every learner to initiate or to introduce or to start how to speak effectively in the classroom one the learner point of view when we consider some of the issues from the learner's point of view if as a learner i feel very comfortable in the language that i am speaking if i am used to get lot many opportunities or uh, variations as per the role of uh, presentation is considered i used to get lot many opportunities uh, in, uh, platforms for the presentation of myself whatever i knew in the same language that will be one of the best technique that the teachers would have to provide so for that point from uh, development of this that issue the what teacher need to do is we teacher should have to provide a platform for conversation it may be of any type of conversation it should be it may be in a right form or it may be in a initial way so but what you need to do is you should have to initiate the conversation styles of the technique usually the teachers what they used to do is in the classroom they used to ask the question in between and they used to get the answer after that uh, they will uh, finish it off but meanwhile even in the discussion let the students explore their ideas as per the development of communication or conversation is to take place okay teacher may divide the classroom into different group, uh, groups and uh, try to ask the question you may ask, you may pose a different type of uh, questions as to make them to be an active learner active anticipator in the form of communication so from that point of view conversation technique is one of the best technique or a way or an approach which can be used by the teacher of english for the development of ability of speaking when students used to get uh, opportunities for taking participation okay uh, there what happens is they may uh, uh, earlier they, they may have some of the difficulties or the issues or the doubts even they don't know how to start even they don't know how to begin with even they don't know how to uh, introduce themselves when the same activity is happening again and again in the classroom in the form of communication or the conversation they start taking active participation by listening by understanding by uh, observing okay by uh, analyzing the situation which was happened in the classroom previous day okay even if i wish to take uh, the active type of participation so that i will be appreciated so these type of converse small step towards a long journey of uh, development of uh, speaking ability will definitely influence a lot for the students point of view so teacher may sit with a group of uh, learners and ask them questions about their family home hobbies etc see in the conversation style don't think that uh, you should have to ask the questions related to the topic that you have taught it is not like that the main intention of any language in the world is to make the learner of the language to speak read write and listen properly that's it when your intention is very clear don't stick on to the curriculum don't stick on asking the questions to the topic that you only covered just to have formal type of communication what teacher need to do is teacher should have to divide the classroom into different groups every day one group is to be asked to share their views about uh, their experiences till the, this day or what all happened yesterday what will happen in the future how about covid 19 it be a general issue maybe a, a matter of a family maybe the issue of a home about their hobbies too so try to give such a interesting topic to the learner so that they can enjoy they can take active participation okay so from that point of view you should have to do conversation technique next activity that the teacher should have to do is 
topic based discussions which is usually followed in the classroom this is an improvement of the conversation class because the discussion is now structured and it is very very clear it is considered its own weightages because of its usefulness nowadays discussion is everywhere followed but how discussion need to be followed what are the criteria that need to be followed how it should be done what I, what is the purpose of the discussion how discussion need to be initiated how it should be developed what is the role of the teacher how it should be ended with the proper type of conclusion everything the teacher should demonstrate the teacher should guide the teacher should facilitate without the role of the teacher the discussion sometimes may lead to the misconcept so before initiating any topic based discussion the teacher should be well versed with the topic that is one one of the important criteria that the teacher should have to follow don't start discussion without having proper information or the knowledge in the same topic if i wish to speak about or if i wish to make my learner to speak about speaking skill or covid 19 or about uh, uh, the use of water or uh, pollution of the environment or any day celebrated so before that what i need to do is i should have to have the clear understanding of the topic that i am going to organize a discussion see what happens is the students are in the process of learning they may have some sort of information or they may have complete information if you know more than them then and then only you can guide them you can uh, illustrate some other examples okay or you can uh, narrate some of your own uh, examples you can guide them if they are not correct you can suggest some of the improvement activities if the conversation is not in a good form see there are some students who hate uh, who hates or who are not interested uh, in uh, taking active participation as per the conversation is considered but discussion is such a structured and open activity which can be done uh, from the point of uh, development of uh, speaking skill okay learners are likely to feel motivated to speak on a topic merely to practice the language of uh, targeted or maybe english say for example the teacher of english plans discussion on interesting topics like uh, right now uh, for uh, third semester students online teaching online learning impact of online learning we have merits we have demerits we have issues we have problems okay we have advantages even we have some of the disadvantages as somebody says uh, it is very helpful for everybody to be there in the respective uh, home only and they can learn at the same time we have some disadvantages like uh, network issues okay not clarifying the doubts that the teacher students used to have and there is no good opportunity for active participation like that so the topic based discussion uh, usually followed uh, so after conversation the best and a very suitable uh, technique or an approach that can be done that can be followed by the teacher in the classroom is topic based uh, discussions so after uh, teaching this can be done or before teaching also it can be done see it depends upon the maturity level of the learner you cannot uh, uh, follow topic based classes for nursery and lkg okay uh, we need to think whether this is useful for the learner that i am actually handling or not especially for high school students or pu students even like b ed students also discussion topic based discussion is good great to follow See, there is no again criteria. Even after a presentation of your uh, topic, you can have a discussion. Or before initiating your uh, presentation, also you can get some information from the help of discussion. Or you can ask them to read this particular topic or collect the information. And tomorrow, let us have a discussion like that. You can give prior information. You can have a discussion later on. Based on the discussion, you can explain. So the, there are a n number of uh, activities. there are n number of uh, formulas or the policies that can be adopted there were no such uh, restricted uh, conditions for uh, any language teacher as well as uh, learner as to initiate these type of activities the only thing that the teacher should the teacher of a language should have to consider is 
it should be reliable the topic that i have opted the topic that i have selected should be good it should be appropriate it should be nice am i audible just i want a clarification am i audible yes sir yeah. okay okay fine so the next uh, point that we need to consider is after conversation and uh, selected topic task oriented fluency practice so there are some tasks which will uh, initiate for the development of speaking ability so like uh, what type of task should have to be given group p is given a task to perform through verbal type of interaction there are uh, different uh, these are only the approaches or these are only the guidelines that can be done even you can follow other ways also if you feel comfortable individually yes sir apart from this i would like to do some other activity if it is comfortable it is well known if it is adjustable to the learners level you can you have that type of freedom that can be done okay so so group can be given some sort of activities for the type of uh, verbal interaction performances like uh, role play and uh, Uh, conversation, dialogue delivery, or anything. It may be in the form of group activity, or it may be a role play. So this is this type of activities are to be called as task-centered fluency activities. So there is a task which is supposed to be given by the teacher as to motivate the learner constantly towards the development of language of English, or it may be any language that we are actually talking about. Okay. next thing uh, we need to concentrate uh, as for the task centered fluency activity is communicative language teaching and task centered fluency practice is exercised continuously we will not get a, a good result or uh, what i can say immediately we will not get result there may be the chances of uh, you know, taking its own time learners are given opportunity to express themselves in a small group and the teacher takes the role of the facilitator in the process as per the role is considered there may be the variations but we should have to give constant motivation okay as well as constant guidance as if the teacher should have to play the role of active participant or facilitator the one who used to give lot many opportunities the one who used to guide constantly the one who used to motivate in any corner of learning situation so from that point of so for the development of communicative language teaching and task centered activities are usually play an important role so it can be done through the help of uh, different perspectives as i said uh, some games are also supposed to be given some uh, initial activities like uh, teaching spelling okay if uh, spell uh, spelling some of the games activities uh, Our preparation of some of the pictures. So it depends upon how logically we used to uh, 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 have the attention of the learners towards the end of the classroom. Okay, any type of activity that we are actually talking about. So some of the language games are also be done over here. Okay, maybe uh, some of the fill in the blanks like B double O K. Instead of that, a B O will be given and one slash would have to be given. So from that point of view. some of the games are supposed to be initiated are giving the opposite are giving the suffixes prefixes okay so such kind of activities for the development of communicative language should have to be given next is uh, speech activities as per the development of uh, speaking ability there are some activities which are supposed to be taught by the teacher of english in the class like uh, uh, theme pictures the teacher should have to provide a theme okay the teacher tells the story to the class then spreads the picture on a table students are then asked to pick the pictures that they associate with the help of the story each student tells his or her partner or the group the reasons for choosing that particular picture only so there were uh, some issues uh, which can be done in a very attractive form but most of us are not using them most of us are not following them we must adopt such technicalities we must adopt such approach or we must follow such way which will inspire 
the learner has to learn the subjects consequently okay systematically or even effectively if we are very creative as as far our role is considered we can do wonders in the classroom we can create miracles in the classroom so when team picture activity is to be done what the teacher is, what is the role of the teacher the teacher tells the story at the initial stage to the whole class and then spreads different pictures on the table which are associated with the story then students are asked to do or means they are asked to pick the pictures that they are associated with the picture okay or the story they will pick some picture and that person who is from a, a group will tell his or her partner or to the whole group why he has selected that particular picture so like that a small initiation for the development of speaking ability see we should have to motivate we should have to constantly motivate the learner what we thought is only after completion of the lesson if i ask the question if they give the answer that is only the form of communication there are different activities or the uh, approaches which can be done by the teacher as to initiate or follow the ability of speaking skill in the learner among the learner so theme picture is one of the best activity i can say next is skeleton story what does it mean the learners here are given skeleton of stories and are asked to complete a story based on the outline given by the uh, teacher so we will we should not give complete picture in a comprehensive form in a written form but we have to give some hints some clues okay some uncompleted statements some uncompleted theory should have to be given by the teacher skeleton only we should have to give but they should have to fill the blood and other parts of uh, the body to uh, to attract it the same way we should have to give a story which is not which is not complete incomplete story should have to be given ask your students to add some information so that they can complete the story the story may be different from what you expected don't bother but your intention is to make them to be a creative learner make them to be an active participant and let them explore what they have new what how best they can uh, uh, contribute for the development of the story so that point only you have to keep in your mind and you should have to give such stories so that can that type of activity can be called as skeleton stories next is dictation dictation is another important instrument or a simple technique which can be done for the development of speaking ability where students are given some of the text to dictate to the whole class instead of teacher some of the prominent member who is good at uh, speaking ability or who will inspire who will uh, uh, impress the other uh, learners as per his ability of speaking is considered such student should have to be selected every every class uh, one new student should have to be given it is not like a, a good or intelligent student should have to be given continuously every every one in the classroom should have to get the opportunity for taking such type of participation so they when they used to get the opportunity to dictate they will read they will try to improve their ability of pronunciation they will think over intonation they will think of uh, stress they will uh, even think of the other dimensions of uh, language how it should be uh, effectively spoken of so uh, when dictation is supposed to be done by a, a member of the classroom then definitely they will think of following uh, an important activity next is telling and code arts what is this the teacher can incorporate suitable and code arts in the day in day to day teaching and invite learners to relate their own encoders some of the possible topics are encoders are in my math class so imagination imaginary topics should have to be given by the learner so that uh, they may uh, think over the same subject and they can have their own imagination they can have their own feelings and expressions through which they can convey their ideas and the concept that they used to have okay the topics like uh, in my english class in my math class in my science class in the ground my first essay my first mobile my first uh, uh, picture my first painting my first singing my first writing so such topics encoders they are to be known as so telling about encoders should have to be given so because these are the issues which are uh, burning which are very essential which will inspire which will make the learner active such type of activity should have to be uh, offered by the teacher in the classroom as to motivate constantly about uh, ability of speaking among the learners so that can be done next is discussion it is already discussed 
but still as a point of uh, effective technicalities let me once again discuss about discussion so discussion can proceed or follow reading text we, we have different type of discussions as far as topic discussion is considered okay topic based discussion can be done or it can be followed with uh, some other uh, uh, point of view okay uh, it can proceed or it can follow some of the text which uh, were followed by the teacher sometimes uh, reading uh, also will enhance the improvement of uh, ability of speaking loud reading so silent reading will allow the students to get comprehensive information about how the words are spelled out at the same time loud reading will help the learners to uh, come to know about their merits as well as demerits instructions are given in advance to the students on the specific focus of the discussion so that they can prepare well they can take active participation they can uh, refer they can collect some information like that so the common errors in grammar and usage may be noted for remedial work to be done later on and not during the activity so there are some uh, active uh, instructions or some uh, points to be remembered or the, to be followed or what type of activity need to be done how it should be done not actually in the form of discussion but those points are need to be uh, charted down or noted down the teacher's role is of an observer as well as a manager as well as a facilitator so that can uh, also be done next is about debate teachers can take the uh, take up relevant topics for the debates which are linked to the students which will inspire again for uh, the students life as well as uh, in the home or school teacher can involve the learners in not only participating in the debate but also at the organizational level whatever the other uh, criteria criteria that the teacher used to have that kind of activities should have to be done that also be one of the important element that can be done next is role play that is what dramatization what we call playing a role according to the topic okay one of the finest activity for uh, the improvement of uh, dialogue delivery okay conversation maybe for the purpose of debate etc all in one package that is what role play because here only reading will not happen we we, we need to explain or we need to present a dialogue according to the role that we used to got uh based on the role if we are performing definitely there is a good impact the teacher allots a role card to each student with some points which can be taken up in the course of activity what is the role that the students are going to play how they need to prepare themselves how dialogue delivery should have to be done so from that point of view these are important activities the information in the role cards is in incomplete sentences or phrases so these are take off points for the students while uh, participating in the role play they need uh, they need to understand the role which is allotted and according to the role allotted they should have to focus on when selecting the role play task learners familiarity with the experience is important but it is equally challenging to have role play based on strange and unfamiliar situation but while giving the role to the learner what we need to uh, understand is we should have to give such an activity such a role which is comfortable for the learner we should not give the character which is uncomfortable so if a person wish to play the role of bima uh, his character or his personality should suit to the character to be played okay we should not give a role to nakula of bima okay we should be have clear idea about who is good for what and so that is the only thing that uh, the teacher should have to concentrate while allotting the roles next is radio shows the teacher can introduce the radio show by playing an already recorded sample of the same so the radio show need not follow a rigid or set pattern students use familiar incident as subjects for reporting i think you have the uh, habit of listening to the radio then uh, you come to know how shows of radio only by listening we will come to know lot many information to help of different technicalities students use familiar incident as subjects for reporting to say for example school projects class projects okay class events even uh, inter school events which were conducted 
maybe sports news like uh, right now olympics we are all talking about olympics recently we have discussed about wimbledon or we may talk about some of the series uh, between india and uh, uh, sri lanka as well as uh, india and england so like that some of the topics should have to be given and maybe about sports about politics about the events about sslc examination or about bed examination this time we are all talking about mcq so such type of burning topics should have to be given uh, for interpersonal inter school inter school activities and even interviews of the teachers and the students should have to be done so how uh, such recorded audios will definitely make an influence for listening ability when they listen properly they can use the same type of uh, conversations same style of uh, tone uh, same style of uh, narration or acting is considered as per different uh, rules are considered the next uh, thing that we need to uh, discuss at last is altogether whatever type of uh, activities we may do finally what we need to uh, consider is it is very important it is necessary for developing the basic language skills in the teaching of english why why is it necessary to develop the basic language skills in teaching of english what strategies will adopt for the development of listening and speaking skill that we have to consider by keeping that point of view whatever you feel individually such kind of activity should have to be done discuss the importance extensive uh, type of reading which is not actually needed now okay uh, somewhat uh, at the time of uh, discussing reading ability i will uh, just focus on this and try to suggest the appropriate exercises for the development of speaking skill for the secondary school students and uh, it there may be the variations as per the ability of skills are considered if one school if the learners level is good that activity is okay okay don't think that uh, that activity may be good for your school students or not it depends upon the mentality and the type of preparedness they used to have so by keeping these point of view we can have the development of ability of speaking so this much i thought today so somehow there will be an end for uh, this class okay so in the next class we shall have a discussion on third important uh, language skill that is reading ability so here and we shall discuss about what is reading sub skills of uh, reading importance and other type of activities types of reading those things in the next class